Well, folks, it's 2024 already, and wait a minute. Looking at that calendar, it's February 25th, so the whole 2024 thing is old news. And where have I been? It's almost been seven months since I was on here last. That's pretty crazy. And looking around, well, I still have my home, <laughs> but it feels like I've gotten further away from my dreams in this past year than I could have ever imagined. And I know I'm not the only one out there. It's especially when you get on social media and you see all these content creators that have all these things. They have these things that you want or maybe they already achieved their dreams, dreams similar to yours. And you look at your surroundings and say, this isn't where I thought I'd be. And that's okay. Because <laughs> quite frankly, it's okay to have those moments, those years or days or months, whenever, where you just look around and say, this isn't it. I know that sounds really depressing. I don't feel like I'm where I should be. I mean, I still have my house. And I can make all these excuses. You know, I wanted to have a self-sufficient homestead. And in this past year, I've downsized. I didn't even have a garden last year. I'm not growing my own food. I'm not being self-sufficient. Wait a minute. This isn't achieving my goals. Well, and of course I can make excuses. Many of the same excuses you'll hear from other people, maybe, that you've thought yourself. I haven't had time. I don't have the money. The resources aren't there. I don't have the help. You know, these are some very similar thoughts that I've had. Surely I've made some progress. Well, if you're always standing in the darkness, ooh, if you're always standing in the darkness, it'll always look dark. <laughs> I know that sounds stupidly simple, but there's something you have achieved. Wait a minute. One thing I did start last year, it was very late in the year and really couldn't see its full fruition. I started a little raised bed garden. Well, that seems like a small thing to be proud of. And you're right. That is a small thing to be proud of. But in the grand scheme of things, does it really add up? Well, of course it does. And now I'm looking back to my porch that's about half falling apart. And, well, previous housing that I've had built for the birds are falling apart. I've let the maintenance go. I mean, right now everything's held up in the little red one. And it's got a tarp as a roof. It's falling off. Looking at the bigger one I built a long while ago, that thing looks like it's completely falling apart. It's not being used right now. I'm, I've been housing every everybody in the red house. Because that thing's not going to do anything for anybody. Will I fix it? Well, that's on the to-do list been on the to-do list for a very long time and going back to well it feels like I haven't done a whole lot in this past year I gave up my chickens although they went to a good home uh, my future father-in-law decided he wanted to have chickens and at the time I was a little overwhelmed with everything going on in my life so I said well if you want to have chickens I'll let you have mine and he took them I'm glad he did. He provided a very, very good shelter for them, and he likes his chickens now. They used to be my chickens. Went from the few little Orpingtons I got to 20-some Rhode Island Reds and whatnot, so, you know, he kind of got hit with that chicken math disease or whatever you want to call it. But well, what else have I done? I gave up my chickens. I didn't have the garden. Wait. I got fruit trees now. They're small. I mean, I only had one thing produced last year. Here's an apple tree. The poor little fella, it got ate up by deer. And, you know, looking at those things, like, how am I going to achieve my goals? It feels like I'm not achieving any of them. And 
even what I do have, it just doesn't feel like it's where it should be. But there is something I can do. If you look, it got some of the tips broken up. I know, I got my little scissors out. One thing I can do, maybe, if these are heavy duty enough. Okay, maybe not. Well, that's a cleaner cut. And just like that, I'm one step closer. Closer to what? Well, it's back to that self-sufficient goal. This tree was likely going to die off if I left those wounds open and rough. And if you look at it, I don't know how well it's going to be on camera, but there's still life there. You can take these broken things and bring life into it. Well, of course, that's not my only fruit tree. I have a very healthy mulberry tree growing. In fact, this has been quite the producer last year for as small as it is. I know some people are like, well, duh, it's a mulberry tree. They're a nuisance more than anything. Well, and with it being February, if you're looking really close, there are some buds on there. Life is coming back. My other apple, what's much healthier than the other one, but it did not get destroyed by deer. But, well, the deer have to eat too. And hopefully we don't get any too big, too many of the big freezes anymore because I got a little peach tree. And that thing's budding like crazy right now. We will be having leaves on this thing probably sooner than we expected. Of course, these trees are a little young to be pruning, but there are still a few cuts to be made, a few things to do. And just like that, I've achieved another step. It takes a long time to achieve anything great. And I know one thing that I've been kind of struggling with recently is just I feel like I have the lack of money and the lack of resources. A new year is here and it's time to make progress. I'm going to stop letting the time issue be an issue. If I have to, I'll take a day off of work. That's what vacation days are for. Next project, we gotta get that house fixed. Well, that's gonna require a roof and that's about it. Next step, get the garden ready. We're having the garden again this year. There's no reason I won't. You don't need 20 acres. Just a little bit. You'll make far less mistakes with a little piece than you will with a big piece. We are given these small packages to deal with everything that comes our way. Whether that's a sense of time, don't worry about next year when this hour ain't even over yet. Only you can be great. And only I can change the things in my life. And that goes for you as well. Money is just a thing. Time is the important thing we have. How are you going to spend that time? I appreciate y'all. Listen to me ramble on a little bit, especially as I'm a little quiet and tired from a cold I've been getting over. But don't let things get to you. You are your own maker. Have fun with what you're given. I'll see you all in the next one.